morning guys and welcome to today's video those of you that are new to my channel my name is Maria and today I'm going to be doing this is part one of a two-part series because I'm recording this beginning when I've actually finished the first part of it and it does go on for quite a while so I'm going to split it into two parts so just recently I got these two Ikea Alex drawers there are nine drawers and the other ones right beside it there so I thought I'd start off with decluttering and organizing my lipsticks that I have so this is quite a long video so we'll get straight into it so this is one of my drawers I got them about probably about two or three weeks ago now and thank goodness Tony put them together for me so they're the Ikea Alex drawers and there's nine drawers in each so the other one's just to the other side here this top drawer I've put lipsticks in and I'm going to use the new insert today once I've gone through them because I think I'm going to declutter some of them there's some that I really just don't reach for anymore now I do want to swatch what I've got so I also have some lipsticks up here as well I'll just pull them over I've got them up here and some lip glosses I'll probably go through those as well now I do want to keep some of the lipsticks on top of the cabinet as well I quite like some on display these are the they're not lipsticks they're the Chantecai the holiday collection last year and I just sit them on top of there so I'm just going to pop them up here on there's a shelf above the drawer here so I'm just going to pop them up here so I'm just going to reach over I've got more lipsticks as well so I've got these ones and I've also got these as well and I was trying to figure out how I was going to do this video but I think what I'll do is I'll go through them by brand because I have things organized by brand just like my eyeshadow palettes and things like that so the other lipsticks that I have in the top drawer here and I've got to be really careful opening and shutting it because otherwise they fall over but now I've got the insert once I've gone through what I'm going to keep what I'm going to declutter and the ones that I'm going to declutter I'm probably going to give away to my sister-in-law I imagine she'll want to have a look through them and she can have the ones that I don't want if she wants to do that so what I'm going to start off with I'm going to take all of these out so I think we'll start with the ones in the drawer here first so I've just moved those other lipsticks back over there so I've got room so I'm just going to take these out so we can have a look through them and decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to declutter. So this is the insert and it all came in pieces so you had to put it together and it's a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle but it is quite heavy and feels really robust and I quite like it that you don't have a bottom in it so if you want to clean out your drawer you just lift it all out in one piece and also that they don't have bottoms because to clean all those out individually would just take forever so I'm just going to pop this in and then we'll start decluttering the lipsticks I'm so glad that I've got these especially with magnetic lipsticks they always want to move around in the drawer so let's start off with Natasha Denona now I know I'm going to be keeping all of these I actually did a bit of a declutter last year I never did it on video but some of the colors they just tend to throw too brown for me so these white ones are the I need a nude and this one is 3-1 NP and this is Beatrice and even this throws a little bit brown but it has got that slight pink in it as well so this one is wearable and I really like the formula of the Natasha Denona and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place them 
upside down so that I can read them. This one is Sava and I love this. Now I think I've, I have got a backup of Sava so I might actually get that out now because one thing with these Natasha Denona lipsticks, this is the second one that this has happened to me. If it's really warm, like in the middle of summer, they do get quite soft. And if you move the bullet up too high, they tend to break off. But I will swatch that for you. This is a beautiful shade. It's got more pink in it than Beatrice. So Sava is definitely a shade that I reach for. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this to the side. And I'm actually going to throw this one out since it's broken but I'm just going to go and get my backup and pop that one in. So here is the backup one. This is 21P Sava. So I'm just going to take that out and we will pop that in. Next is, this is oh, the I Need a Rose range that came out earlier this year and I love both of these. This one is Daphne and this is a beautiful shade it's just perfect it's a beautiful nude with a bit of pink in it and it's just the perfect shade and the next one is peony and this is more brighter pink but this is really beautiful too so i'll be keeping that one i really love those colors and then this one was limited edition, I think. I need a nude. I'm not sure whether it was limited edition. Might have just been the packaging. But this is 36 NP Amorosa. And this is what I was talking about. I haven't been able to get it back up. This one is the one that broke as well. I'm going to swatch it. And now that I see it beside those other two shades, it's probably closer more to Sava but this one does look really nice on so I was disappointed when this broke so I'm going to declutter this one as well there's no point in keeping it and then here's a makeup forever one which I've had probably for too long and I don't even know why I got this shade it's not one that I'd wear what shades like this are good for sometimes though is if you put a lipstick on and it's a bit bright you can go over with a lipstick like this it's probably a bit too opaque for doing it and just sort of tone the color down I do find they're quite good for that the formula feels quite nice but I really don't reach for it so I'm going to declutter that one then we've got a couple of Marc Jacob ones I'm going to declutter these these are quite old one is called Diva and I don't even know why I got this shade this is like a and it's sort of like a frosty color but these are quite old anyway and I never reach for it so that one can go. Then we have, what shade is this one? This is Sugar Sugar. This shade is actually quite nice. I'll put this down here. That's quite a nice shade. And lipsticks tend to smell like Play-Doh or something when they go off. So um, now that one, it's okay. So I think I might... I might keep that one. I'll probably end up swapping some of these lipsticks around, but I'll just <laughs> keep going. So next I'll do some Pat McGrath ones. I think I will be keeping most of these. I don't have a lot of Pat McGrath lipsticks. I'm going to end up knocking that one over if I'm not careful. So we'll start off with this one. And I think by the looks of it, the writing's always very small on these Pat McGrath ones. The packaging is beautiful. This is Nude Romantique. And this is quite a bright... I'm running out of room here. I'll wipe all these off in a minute. It's got a sparkle in it. It is quite a pretty colour though. And I've worn this for a while, but it doesn't look... Or doesn't feel chunky. It just has that sparkle in it. So I will keep that one. Next is Amour, I think it is, or Amour. It's A-M-O-U-R. And again, just really, I do like the packaging on the Pat McGrath lipsticks. This is quite a bright shade though. So, oh yeah. I don't think there's much point. <laughs> I mean, I love the packaging, but I really don't think there's much point in me keeping that. I don't know why I got that shade, but that's just not a color that I would wear so I'm going to put that to one side and see if my sister-in-law wants that 
I've just wiped the swatches off my hand so I've got more room. Next we have Dream Lover. And I do like this shade. That's more of a shade that I like. It's a bit more muted, but again, got some pink in it. And that is a really lovely shade. So I'll keep that one. Then we have Divine Rose. And that has got a lot more pink in it than this one. This is probably one I'd wear more than that one. But I will still keep this one. It's not like that bright pink one <laughs> that I just showed you. So next is, I think this is Valletta. And I really like this shade from memory. I do. This is probably, you can see I've used it the most. This would be my favourite shade out of the Pat McGrath lipsticks that I've got. This is definitely one that I reach for the most so I'm definitely going to keep that I'm not sure whether she still has that if she does that is one that I would buy a backup of it's a shade that I would reach for my everyday type of makeup and these are tart lipsticks and I really like these I like the formula of them I'm probably going to keep them all I'll just swatch them on my hand I'm pretty sure I reach for all of these I've got Beach Babe Sunkissed and salt life so we'll start with beach babe first this is beach babe now that i'm swatching them on, the, on my hand and i'm seeing i i've definitely got a color that i like and i keep reaching for this is salt life Probably not one that I would reach for as much, but this but the Beach Babe shade is really lovely. And then last is Sunkissed. So I will swatch that on. That is a really lovely shade too. So I'll keep that. I will keep all three. I think this one, maybe next time I do a declutter, that one here may go. But these two are definitely shades that I would reach for. So I'm just going to put those in upside down. I didn't put the Pat McGrath ones in upside down. I don't think I will. I think I might just leave them up. Oh, put them upside down. It's probably, it's probably better if I put them upside down and then I don't have to pick up each one and <laughs> see which shade it is. So next are two of the by Terry. These are the balms. I love these lipsticks. So I'm definitely going to keep these. This is Tea Time and the other one is Nudist. Both are really beautiful shades. So that is Nudist. So you can see a theme with the colours that I really like. And this one is Tea Time. This is a beautiful shade too. These are beautiful balms and they have quite a fair bit of pigment in them too. They are ones that I reach for quite a lot and... When they either expire or I've used them up, I will be buying backups of them. Now, these are a little bit taller, so I think I will put them here. Next are two Hourglass lipsticks. One is, let's have a look at the shades. One is Touch Velvet and the other one is Pure Velvet. These are quite nice. I'm not sure whether this is probably a shade that I wouldn't really reach for that much, I think. Let's take a look at the other one. So both of these are sort of just not, not quite right. From memory, I really like the formula. The packaging on them is really lovely, but just something not, maybe this one more than that one, but I don't think I would really get much use out of that shade, and I really, haven't been reaching for them that much. So I'm going to put them to the side and hand them on. So next is a Dolce and Gabbana lipstick. And I love the packaging, but I don't like the lipstick. It's, uh, it's almost like that Marc Jacobs one. <laughs> that frosty pink that was hideous in the 80s. It's still hideous now. But I do like this. I will keep it because I'll probably pick up another shade and just in a refill because I do like that packaging. I think the 
the black and white polka dot is really really beautiful so I will keep it all together for now but later on I will definitely be passing that on and that shade was this one here was called angelic pink and next I'll go through the Gucci lipsticks some of these I'll keep some I will pass on this one is called Sally Soft Honey and this is the one that I like I think out of the ones that I've got it's got a huge amount of pigment but it is a really nice formula and that is definitely a shade that I would wear so I will keep that and I'll pop that upside down it's a bit taller there's one or two shades here that I don't think I'll be keeping this one is called your man the packaging is just beautiful and I do think that I like this shade so that is your man and that is a really nice shade so I will be keeping that one next is I think it says Kimberly Rose oh, why did I ever pick up a shade <laughs> this, this is like this Barbie pink um, probably my niece would like this actually <laughs> But yeah, that is not a shade. I don't even know why I bought it in the first place. But no, definitely be passing that one on. And then the last Gucci lipstick I have is called, I think it's called Laura June. And this is not a shade that I like either. I put this on and it looks like, <laughs> it looks like dead lips to me. So I won't keep that shade either. So that's another one I'll be passing on. So I'm doing quite well with my decluttering. Next we'll go to Burberry. I'm not going to keep all of these. I don't reach for them. I got a whole lot for one video when they came out. This packaging here was different. That came out with the holiday collection last year. I think that shade's quite nice, but we'll have a look in a minute. So these are all magnetic. They have beautiful casing. There's nothing wrong with the lipstick itself. It's really, really beautiful. So first we will try, this is pomegranate pink. This, and you can see I only used it in the video. I haven't really reached for it since. But I will keep <laughs> a few bold lipsticks. So I might keep pomegranate pink. I'm just going to put that to the side and decide which ones I'm going to keep. And next is Tempest Rose. This is a beautiful colour. So I'm definitely going to keep Tempest Rose. So I'm just going to put that in here because I know I will keep that. And then we have TB Orange. Now I do need to keep, I don't have a lot of orange lipsticks and that is a really beautiful orange. So I will keep that. Let's look at the embossing on these lipsticks. They are just beautiful. I'll put that the right way so I can read it and next we have first blush and this is a lovely color as well this is definitely more of my shade probably more than that one there I think so definitely going to keep this one and then we have this is called the red And that is a really beautiful shade too. So I think I will keep the red. I'm definitely keeping the orange. I think this one is the one that I will pass on. I'm determined to try and wear some more reds this year. So I'm going to hang on to that one. This is the one that I'm going to pass on. That was Pomegranate Kiss. So I'm going to pass that one on. This one was Delicate Rose. The packaging is really lovely. And from memory this is a lovely shade as well this is definitely more my type of shade so I will keep that one so I really <laughs> didn't get as rid of many as I thought I was going to it was just that shade I got rid of so I'll pop that in there so next we'll go through Charlotte Tilbury this is a pillow talk one but these are the ones they are in a thinner case and they definitely add a bit of shine and shimmer to the lips and I really like this one it's like got a pinky sort of lavender with a gold sparkle in it and it is 
actually really really pretty so I'm going to keep that one next we have this is called cover star and again I don't know why I got this shade but it's just too nude and it doesn't suit me so I'm going to pass that one on next we have coral bliss and I don't mind that shade so I will keep that one then we have bitch perfect and this is a nice shade and I actually do reach for this one it just has more depth to it than this one you can see how well for me this shade here is just a nothing color where is this has some oomph about it and that is a really nice shade and it's lovely on too and the next one is super cindy i think that's what it's called again it's, oh it is quite nice actually it's very similar to that shade there it's not really one that i reach for though so i think super cindy is one that i'm going to pass on next we have penelope pink and i don't know whether i like this one we'll have a look once it's swatched on so it's very similar to similar to that one here but it has an undertone to it which is quite nice i might hang on to that see if i reach for it the sheer if not then later on when i do another declutter then i'll throw that one out next is the one pillow talk now i need to try this one on and see what it looks like from memory i didn't really like it on me but i'm going to keep it and i'll make sure that i reach for it and see if i like it once it's on next we have jk magic and this shade i do love so i know i'll be keeping this so you can see there's a theme that i like with my lipsticks this has more pink in it so it's really really lovely and i love the formula of this too so keeping that next is dance floor princess love the shade this is probably my favorite shade out of the charlotte tilbury i'm probably running out of room this that is just the perfect sort of pink and i think it is a really beautiful shade and i actually have a backup of that and then last we have nude romance and just beautiful packaging this is really lovely so let's swatch it and see what the color is like again it's probably a little bit too a little bit too brown for me but it's one that I will keep and I will wear it sometime in the near future and just see whether I do like it or not. So I'll put all these in. And there's two gaps here. So I think I've got a couple of MAC lipsticks. So we'll take a look at those. I'm just going to wipe these swatches off. So this one here was from, I think it was a limited edition, or limited edition packaging anyway. And this is on a petal still. And I quite like it. There's a whole lot of glitter still left from the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. That is a nice colour. And I do like the formula of these. I think the packaging is really lovely too. So I'll just pop that in there. It'll go on its side though since they're pointed and next is across the sky this was in the magnificent collection that was out not too long ago and i quite like the shade as well it's probably a little bit too rosy but i will keep it it is quite a new lipstick and i think the packaging is really really lovely it was the magnificent moon collection i think so here is a smashbox lipstick and it's the only Smashbox lipstick I've got. And this is the shade Be Legendary. And it's quite a nice shade actually, but it's just not it's very pale. But I really don't reach for it and it is getting a little bit old. So 
I'll check that later but it's not really one I reach for so I'm either going to chuck that out or I'll pass that on then I've got a couple of NARS lipstick this one is called Raw Seduction and I don't really reach for this one too much either but the formula is quite nice I'm just seeing whether Mm, I'm not too sure it seems to smell okay but again the NARS lipsticks aren't really ones that I reach for I'm just trying to oh, just clip this on and so I think I will pass that on and this one I think I picked up last year I just really like the packaging more than anything oh this is an orgasm and I just I'm not sure it doesn't really have much coverage it's more of a balm I mean it is quite nice and it feels quite nice swatched on it's just not one that I really reach for so I'm going to pass that on so next I'll go through the Laura Mercier lipsticks I really love these and some of them I've had for a couple of years and there's one shade that I can't remember off the top of my head but I do have a backup for I just love the shade we'll start off with this one this was a limited edition packaging last year and this is called Lucky Rouge it's really lovely packaging it's like a burnt orange so I'm going to keep that and I think the color is really really beautiful has some brown in it as well but it is a really gorgeous colour. So I'll just pop that in there so I can see it. And then we've got Coral New. This is a shade that I absolutely love. So I'll be keeping that. Next is Bron Pale. And I really like this shade too. I love the formula of her lipsticks. They always look really beautiful on too. And the whole packaging and everything is really, really lovely. So I'm going to keep that. And then we have Rose Ultimate. And I have I worn it maybe once. This is this is one that I'll probably pass on. And that is Rose Ultimate. It's not really, I mean. I love the formula of these but that's not really a color that I reach for so I'm going to pass that on then we have nude natural and this is the one that I have a backup of you can see how much I've used it I'm actually going to throw this one out today and I'll get my backup in a minute and put that in the drawer but this is a really beautiful color on and that's why I got a backup of it. It's really, really lovely. It doesn't swatch that great, but it is a really it might be because the lipstick's old too. But you can see how much I used it. It's really lovely. So I'll grab the backup for that in a minute and pop that in this drawer. And then finally we have Coral Clear. And I'm pretty sure that I love this shade too. It's really, really lovely. So we'll put Coral Clear down here that's definitely a shade that I reach for and I will keep that one so I'm just going to get the backup of the other lipstick and pop it in here so here is the backup that I've got a nude natural so I'm just going to take that out there lovely brand new one so I'll pop that in so next we'll have a look at the YSL these were quite new these were the candy gloss ones there are probably about two or three colors that I will keep in here I'm not sure whether they have the shades on the back just numbers I think they were just numbered I think this one is more of the red these are very shiny like a wet sort of shine and they do look beautiful on I'm just gonna put that to the side I'm gonna decide which one this one is I think this one is number nine so this is the more orangey one you see that they're, they're pretty bold and these do have a fragrance to them it's sort of like a watermelon smell this is number this is number five you 
actually by the looks of it I'll probably keep them all it is quite nice I haven't got some anything else that has such a sort of thick shiny formula as these and this is number four and that is a brown nude but that is a really lovely shade as well so I think I'll hang on to all four of these there isn't really any label on it that says what shade they are so there's not much point really in putting them upside down but I suppose maybe if I remember the numbers I might put them in some sort of order the more muted ones well as muted as they can be were the lower numbers so I will put these over here so I've got four in a row and we've got number four number five number nine and number ten so I can just see over here, this is where I used to store them on the tables, so they've got a little bit of dust on them still at the top. This is a Burberry one as well, and this is Nude Apricot, and I really like this shade. I've used it a bit. This is a really lovely shade. So I'm going to put that with my other Burberry lipsticks. I'm going to move these two MAC ones over here and put that with the other Burberry one so that they're all together. This is a Vive lipstick and this is in the shade Treasure and the packaging is quite lovely again it's got dust on it from when I used to sit them on my table before I got these drawers. I don't like the formula of these at all. These dry down and just age your <laughs> lips. They just dry down too much so I'm definitely going to be passing that one on. And I've got one lipstick here all by itself. This is an Amani one. And this is the shade. This is one of the lip powers. And this is 503. This is the only one I've got. I just wanted to try out the formula. They're just a really beautiful shade. You can definitely see the theme and the lipsticks that I like. But this has a really, really beautiful formula. It's just smooth and creamy and it's just really gorgeous the packaging is just gorgeous as well so i only have the one so this one won't fit and by the time i have it fits in here but when i go to close the drawer it won't fit so this is one i'm keeping it but i'll have to put it in one of the containers that i have on top of my drawers so i'm just going to pop that over here not in my declutter pile in <laughs> a separate pile Next we'll take a look at the Suku lipsticks. I will be keeping all of these. These are the sheer matte ones. A lot of these were limited edition. This was number 109. This is a really beautiful, this is from the latest collection I think in orangey brown. It's just an absolutely gorgeous colour. So I'm definitely keeping that. I'm going to keep all of these anyway. This one is 106 and this is a beautiful shade too. One of more my type of shades. Beautiful rosy sort of pink. It's really, really lovely. Then we have number 01. So I think this might be part of the permanent line since it's a two digit on the back instead of a three. And this is a really nice nude colour. And then we finally have number 02. So I think this is from the permanent line as well. Again, going with that shade that I quite like. It is a really lovely formula. Some of the mattes can be far too drying for me. But these don't tend to dry down too much. And next is number 11. And I will swatch that here. And that is a really beautiful colour as well. These are all shades that I definitely reach for. But this one in particular, this burnt orange, I think it's just absolutely stunning, that shade. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move the Doll Sheet and Gabbana one and Pat McGrath. I'm going to move them into here. And I'm going to put the Suku ones in here so they fit, I think, better in here. Otherwise, they might be a bit difficult to get out. And 
and then I will pop the Dolce and Gabbana one in here. I'll just do that right side up. I've only got the the only one. And this is a Suku lipstick as well. And this is number 107. I think this came with a limited edition, a holiday one. Again, it's that beautiful burnt sort of orange with quite a bit of brown in it and I do like this especially in the autumn winter months and the formula of this is really beautiful so I do want to keep this so I'm going to put that it hasn't got a label on the bottom it's just on the side so I'm going to put that there near my other Suku ones and put the Dolce and Gabbana there next we've got a whole lot of Becca lipsticks and I really love these one of these shades I actually bought a backup of and I really like the formula and I like the casing too it's quite an old-fashioned type of casing so I'll swatch them on my hand and decide which ones that I'm going to keep this one is blush because I think they're still okay this is blush definitely my type of shade so I'm going to keep that one then we have sugar and that's actually not a too bad shade either it's got enough pink in it so it's not too dead looking I quite like that one then we have tulip and I'm not a tulip is a really lovely color too these are super creamy these lipsticks and I think I'm just going to smell them. I think they still smell okay. Lipsticks do tend to go off quite quickly though. Next is Ruby. Really beautiful red. So I think I will hang on to that one. And then we have Blaze. That's probably not so much of a colour that I would wear. So I think I will pass Blaze on. And then lastly we have Bear. And this is the one that I have a backup of. Because again you can see how much I've used it. So I'll just do a swatch of that here. So again it's like that perfect pinky nude. And they are definitely the lipsticks that I love. So I'm... Um, going to keep that one because as I said I've got a backup of it anyway so next we've got two Westman Atelier these are the squeaky clean balms and these are really lovely this was in the shade Shoo Shoo and you can't really see it but it just gives it's a very light pink it actually looks really pretty on the lips the packaging is beautiful and I really like the formula so I will keep these now I'm going to put them in here just for now it's not likely that I will keep them in here I'll probably put them in my container on top of the cabinets and this one is Nunu and this is a really lovely shade too I don't know whether you'll be able to see my very slightly see but they are beautiful formula and you can just wear them by themselves for a really nude look or pop them on top of other lipsticks and I just think they're really lovely and the Westman Atelier even these are quite weighty just really really nice so on second thoughts I think they'll probably get in the way so what I'm going to do I'm just going to pop them on top of where those other lipsticks are in that container that I've got and on top of these drawers here and I will keep them in there I think next we've got a whole lot of Wayne Goss lipsticks there's one color that I just don't know why I picked up at all I love the Wayne Goss lipsticks there are some beautiful shades in here so the first shade we've got is Dahlia and that is a beautiful nude it's got a hint of sort of coral in there and that is really lovely then we have camellia again that's more nude but they are both really lovely shades and I do like the Wayne Goss lipsticks with the old-fashioned click I quite like those 
Next is Daisy. This is probably my favourite out of them all. Because again, it's that shade that I really love. This is a really beautiful shade. Then we have Magnolia. Then we have Cashew. I think this is one of the more newer shades of his. And that's a really nice shade too on. And then we have Macadamia. It is a really lovely shade range. So here is the one that I don't know why I got. And I'm going to keep it. <laughs> in my collection but anyway this shade is cocoa now i have put it on once and yeah it didn't look good at all so this is cocoa i mean it is a beautiful color to look at and the bullet looks stunning but definitely not a color that i would wear but in the future if i ever need to do comparisons for something then i will keep this in my collection for now So I'm going to end the video here guys because this is going to be about 40-45 minutes long and I don't really want it longer than that but I will do a part two where I'll declutter and swatch the rest of the lipsticks that I have in my collection and also I changed this round so that the taller compartments are at the back and the shorter at the front it just seems to make more sense so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time bye